So another day, another budget smartphone launch, and today it comes courtesy of Hong Kong mobile manufacturer Infinix with its fresh new Hot 10S. This right here is the Hot 10S NFC, which has slightly different specs to the standard Infinix Hot 10S, but definitely some pretty solid specs for a $120 asking price. That's just under 100 quid here in the UK. These phones will be rolling out to select regions over the next couple of months. What I'm going to do is whip the Infinix Hot 10S NFC out of its box, take you on a full-on tour of the hardware and the software so you know what to expect. And for more on the latest and greatest budget blows, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. All right, so let's see how hot this really is. All right, so inside the box, you get the smartphone. You get a teeny tiny little power adapter oh it's so cute you got a charging cable and yes it is that god awful micro usb nonsense why won't you just die already you've also got a porky pin to get your sim in there the obligatory condom case to help protect the infinix 10s nfc although it's a bit of a stiff one for now for now and you even get a screen protector chucked in the box as well so for 120 dollars you do get an awful lot of stuff uh, in there considering most you know Galaxy S21s the iPhones they don't even give you a bloody charger anymore and lastly you also get what looks dodgily like a one dollar bill but it's some sort of invite to join the X club and apparently this allows you to make friends become famous and earn money so yeah so anyway that is the box now let's check out the fun so Dashi blows the Infinix Hot 10S NFC, which is an absolute beast at 6.82 inches, but thankfully actually doesn't weigh an absolute ton, probably helped along by the plastic finish. Apparently Infinix used laser micron lithography technology to create this shimmering texture on the plastic surface, and that's inspired by the Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. And I'll be honest, I understood about 8% of the words that just came out of my f***ing mouth right there. And you can grab the Infinix Hot 10S NFC in four different colours. This is apparently the Mirandi Green, even though it looks a lot more like blue to my buggered old eyes. But you can also grab it in 95 degree black, 7 degree purple, or Heart of Ocean, whatever that is. Gotta say though, given that low price point, the design actually ain't that bad at all. I've certainly seen a lot more garish uh, for you know twice the price of this. At least there's no horrible, obnoxious slogan slathered all over the back end or anything like that. It's good to see that the camera chassis is almost level with that rear surface, only juts out ever so slightly, and you've also got that rear-mounted fingerprint sensor. And it's good to see your old mate, the headphone jack as well, even if it is sharing a bit of bottom space with this ugh, atrocity here. Let's just see what the SIM tray situation is on the Hot Tennis NFC as well. And it's good news there as well, because not only is the Hot Tennis NFC a dual SIM device, but also you've got a separate micro SD memory card slot to expand the storage. All right, so it's time to boot up this beastly Infinix budget blower, and then we can get it all set up and take a full on tour of the camera, the performance, all that good stuff. Now, and we're already off to a bad start because the only English I can choose is United States. There's no Queen's English option on here. Boo. This goddamn phone starts misspelling words like colour. I'm not going to be impressed. In fact, UK isn't even an option in the list of countries. I'm going to have to go with others. Tell you what, you do a Brexit and then all of a sudden you're completely insignificant. All right, so the Infinix Hot 10S NFC all set up and good to go. And what you got here is the latest, freshest Android 11 OS, but you do have the XOS 7.6 slathered on top. And as you can see, this changes up the UI to uh, give you an alternative to the Google Discover feed. So for instance, you can quickly see how many steps you've walked today. That's pretty much accurate for me. Check out the weather, fast access to your recent apps, all that good stuff, as well as your headlines. Thank Christ, you do still get an app stream so you don't have to have all your crap cluttering up your desktops but you've got to remember when you want to go back home not to swipe down because this basically just opens up an advert for wallpapers and games instead you've got to swipe to go home like so and then swiping down doesn't bring down your notifications bar what it does instead is open up a search bar and apparently tucker colson is a hot search so hot he's got extra fire next to him if only he was actually on fire that would please me so definitely one of the heaviest launches i've seen come pre-installed on a smartphone in quite some time as you can see changes up the general aesthetics as well as the uh, the ui shenanigans and if you dive on into the settings menu as well it's barely recognizable as an android settings menu it's changed up quite a lot lots of different features in there the power marathon mode basically looks like a battery saver mode Got the XOS Lab, which sounds exciting, except it doesn't actually have anything in it. But then if you jump into special function, there's plenty of stuff crammed in here, including the game mode, which can apparently manage your resources, your CPU, GPU, uh, memory, all that good stuff in the background when you're playing games. You've got plenty of parental controls, got the usual kid modes and stuff here on the Infinix Hot 10S, and it's good to see a game anti-addiction mode 
built in as well so you can see exactly how long your sprogs are allowed to blow their mates brains out in games like call of duty and the like and there's your action and gesture control as well although no double karate chop to turn on the camera flash sadly and thumbs are back that sounds hilariously good and okay so apparently what this does is when you're using a supported app such as youtube for instance what you need to do is double tap that fingerprint sensor and it will minimize the app like so so if you're watching a video you can sort of wedge it up in the corner and continue to sort of listen to it while you're doing something else for instance checking out a website or whatever and then when you're done you can just give this little tappy tap and speaking of youtube you've got a video tool feature as well which you can access by swiping your finger from the side and holding and this offers similar sort of tools to xiaomi's mi ui so as you can see there you can for instance play a video in the background while the screen is hibernating if you're listening to a podcast on youtube you can block any pesky messages or incoming calls as well in case you're enjoying a good bit of text expert action you don't want to be disturbed perfectly understandable it's also worth pointing out you get absolute buttloads of crapware pre-installed here on the infinix hot 10s nfc you get games stores you've got uh bees whatever the hell bees is I was kind of hoping that would just unleash a load of killer bees, but apparently not. Call care, no idea what on earth that is. Jumping zoo, sounds like a classic. And then of course, all up in that X club. So there's definitely plenty of features packed in there. And then you've also got that rear mounted fingerprint sensor for your security as well. And touch wood, this seems to be really fast, really responsive, certainly for a $120 handset. No issues there whatsoever. And you've also got what uh, Infinix claims is some proper 3D face modeling for your face recognition as well. And certainly this seems to be just as nippy as that fingerprint sensor. And they even reckon it'll work with a face mask on. So let's just slap this on and see if it still recognizes my haggard looking mug. Turn it on. Yeah, it certainly does, which uh, I'm not quite sure how great that is for the security aspect of things is it going to be easily fooled by somebody else who just looks a bit like you uh it's obviously hard to see without doing some proper testing but certainly from a convenience standpoint it's quite uh, quite nifty and then of course because this is the nfc model of the infinix hot 10s you do have that nfc support for your contactless payments with the likes of google pay and the hot 10s comes in 64 and 128 gig storage options this is the 128 gig model but as i mentioned before you've got micro sd memory card support to expand that when you want to so anyway let's turn our attention to that flopping massive 6.8 2 inch ips display it is only an hd plus effort and it's on the ips as well so images aren't exactly super crisp and you can't exactly expect poppy in your face colors either but it'll be absolutely fine for a good bit of youtube action as long as you're not too fussy about your visuals of course you do have a wee nipple notch poking its way up at the top end of the screen. It's just slightly intrude when you go a full view, but nothing too severe at all. If you boost the Infinix Hot 10S NFC's brightness levels all the way up to maximum levels, you will still struggle a little bit outdoors in bright sunlight to see what is going on, but it's nothing too severe. And the viewing angles are generally okay. It's like darkening of the image as you tilt away from your face. If you dive into the display settings, you've got all the usual good stuff like the eye care mode just to help warm things up a bit in the evening so it's not quite so much a strain on your old peepers and you do actually have a 90 hertz screen refresh rate as well which is really impressive considering the budget price point and as you can see there you can manually stick the infinix hot 10s into 60 hertz mode 90 hertz mode or you can have it auto decide uh, between the two depending on what you're up to as well as the audio goes, well, it's just a mono speaker housed here on the bottom end of the Infinix Hot 10S NFC. Uh, but let's bump up the volume, see if it's any good. And I found that this was a much better setup overall because then you don't have hands getting in the way of the rest of the text. So quite tinny on those uh, top volumes, even if they do pack a bit of a punch, you know, they are quite loud, so they'll be able to cut through background clamour and all that. But yeah, I would stick definitely with that headphone jack when you want to enjoy some audio. Now the performance here is provided by MediaTek's Helio G85 chipset backed by a choice of either four or six gigs of RAM. This is the exact same chipset you'll find in the likes of Xiaomi's Redmi Note 9 and Samsung's Galaxy A32 smartphones. And it's absolutely fine for your everyday shenanigans and also for a bit of light gaming on the side as well. Like so Call of Duty Mobile will play on medium detail settings absolutely fine did see a little judder as i started the match but apart from that it ran nice and smoothly and the screen is nice and responsive as well certainly managed to rack up plenty of kills and that's helped along by that darling ultimate game booster feature as well which as i say manages all your phone's resources in the background to keep things running nice and slick and at any point you can pull out the game tools as well just by swiping your finger in and holding it just like you did with the video tools and this offers off a small selection of gaming features including call rejection do not disturb and you can also record 
the action as it unfurls. Because you haven't got any 5G support here on the Infinix Hot 10S NFC. That would be a bit of a stretch for the $120 asking price. You do get a 5,000 milliamp battery crammed inside of this thing though. And if you uh, don't get the NFC model, if you get the standard Hot 10S, then that upgrades that to a 6,000 milliamp battery instead. And let's finish up with the squint of that camera tech. And what you get here is a triple lens setup on the back end of the Infinix Hot 10S NFC. Got a 48 megapixel primary lens, a two megapixel depth sensor, and an AI lens, which sounds rather mysterious. Now you're deposited into what Infinix terms the AI cam when you first load up the camera app. This is basically your full-blown auto mode. Got a whole bunch of toggles and stuff to play with including the likes of the HDR mode. You can also shoot at that maximum 48 megapixel mode if you want to by toggling this little icon up here. Otherwise it shoots 12 megapixel with 4-in-1 pixel bin and by default. As usual you've got a bug load of filters that you can play around with if you want to change up the vibe of your shots. And if you like bonus camera features, boy are you covered off by the hot 10s NFC. You've got a dedicated beauty mode. This rather depressingly appears to have a body shape mode where you can actually change uh, how wide your hips are, how big your gut is. Oh god, you can even change the shape of your arse apparently. And that's all a bit rancid though, so let's stay well clear of that. Don't worry guys, your arse is perfect to Uncle Spurt. Oh god, that just sounds all kinds of wrong. Uh, let's just cut this bit. You've also got a portrait mode, which of course uses that depth sensor to add a bokeh style background effect. You've got the likes of the super night mode, which can just take lots of different shots at different apertures blend them all together for a nice light balanced effect. You swipe up this way, you've got even more stuff uh, shoved away in there as well. And if you swap to video, by default you're shooting in 1080p, but you can switch that up to 2K apparently. And then if we swap to the front facing 8 megapixel selfie snapper, as you can see there, you can shoot fairly wide angle snaps of your mug, complete with HDR smart, it's got the usual beauty mode shenanigans again. So I can do something with my tear drops. I don't know. <laughs> Make my tears look all sparkly or something. Uh, change my sh face shape and basically make myself look even less human than I already did. So that right then in a nutshell is the fresh new Infinix Hot 10S NFC model, which as I say, will be rolling out to select regions globally over the next couple of months for a price tag of around 120 US dollars. And it's certainly got some respectable specs for that asking price as well. It's great to see a 90 Hertz display, an absolute massive bloody one at that. You've got just about strong enough performance to get gaming if you want to. The only thing that might put a lot of people off is that really heavy launcher that's slapped there on top of Android. So anyway, that's what I think of the Infinix Hot 10S NFC, slightly clunky name. Stumbled over that a few times in this shoot of uh, this video, let me tell you that. But boy, howdy, I'd be great to hear uh, your own thoughts on this smartphone as well down in the comments below. If you haven't already, please do plug, subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Have yourselves a fine ass rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.